Welcome everybody to One Shot Onslaught. Today we have got a D&D uh, &D one shot where we are going to be playing Watchers in the Dark by the Arcane Library. Um, let's go ahead and can we go around the table and have everybody introduce who their character they will be playing is. We'll start with uh, Joe. You are on the top of the screen. Uh, who are you playing today, Joe? I'm playing Morion, the uh, Kenku Bard. Morion has uh, some like parrot-like feather cloak, and he wears a hat with a uh, parrot feather that sticks out, and it kind of looks like a uh, very ornate uh, peacock feather. Sorry, not parrot. Peacock feather that sticks out of the uh, the hat. Nice. Awesome. Uh, let's go down first to uh, Sash. Sash, who are you playing? Yeah, I am playing uh, Nix, the Grave Cleric. Basically, he's a plague doctor. He uh, carries a mace and a bell, and he probably won't be speaking much. Uh, Dragon Bait? Uh, I am playing Rin, the Fire Genasi Shadow Sorcerer. Oh, I didn't know you were a Fire Genasi. Awesome. Switching it up. Switching it up. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think I've ever played with a fire Genasi before. I think I've played with the, uh, pretty much all the other Genasis, but not a fire. Um, and Dustin, who are you playing? I am playing Norbert Stoneforge. He's a rock gnome fighter. Are you sure that he's a fighter? Yes. Yes. He's an eldritch <laughs> knight. We Good had change. a little bit of confusion. Dustin came in thinking he was going to be playing... A, a wizard. <laughs> wizard, and then found out that his character he made some years ago is actually an Eldritch fighter. So, <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, so we start tonight off. Anybody? Any guesses? Any guesses Andalyn. where we start the night off in? In our beds. Andalyn. We in, in our the beds. Adventurers Guild. Yeah, we we are. We're in the Adventurers Guild. Um, been a real long time. It's, it has <laughs> been a long time since we've had a stream in the Adventurers Guild. And uh, behind the counter is none other than Benny Dunn, and uh, he looks up at you four and says, "Oh, hey, the trying to think of what letter I haven't used yet. Shit. Um, hey, the H team. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, you guys look like the H team. Uh, you all looking for a mission? Please, please say yes. I really, I'm in a bind on this one. I can't actually, find it. Actually, no. We're just here to party." Cool, like just in the lot. Okay. Yeah. I I can beatbox for for you all. Mm, no. Uh, we've no, are seen you sure? That's a before. once in a lifetime opportunity no, no. right here. No, no, no beatboxing from you. Okay. Well, let's let's party, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's party. <laughs> No, really, I do need somebody to go do this mission for me, if if that's cool with you all. And then we could party after, yeah, huh? I mean, if I go on the mission, I'm not going to want to party after. You don't know that. Maybe it's like a pregame party mission. Could be. No. I will go on your stupid mission. You just hear a striking of a bell. And you look around, you just see the plague doctor mask coming down, and he just steps up and just puts his hand out for the mission. All right, yeah, here's the map. Twinsies. <laughs> about about two miles down south from town, uh, in the middle of the forest, there was a big meteor that came down uh, a couple of days ago. You guys might have uh, seen it, um, but. That was all fine and dandy, but now we're having these uh, reports of people going missing in the area and some other strange occurrences. So we just need you all to go, uh, you know, check out the crash site and just make sure that everything is on the up and up. We'll give you the usual 100 gold pieces each, and uh, it really probably shouldn't be too hard. Right? That's what they always say. 200, Benny. 200. Roll a persuasion check, Rin. Persuasion is a plus five. <laughs> Dang. Uh, that would be a 21. 
This time only, and only because it's a one-shot ran. I'll give you 200 gold. Sweet. Should have asked for more. <laughs> uh, so the map you've got is, uh, you know, it's decent for uh, a Benny map. Um, it does look like it would probably take you guys no more than like a half hour to get there on foot. Bye, guys. Can we go by bus instead? <laughs> um, I don't know if any of you guys have any horses or anything. The Benny bus. The Benny bus. <laughs> you guys might have a horse. Do you guys a have horse. Just a one horse? A horse. A, one horse the for the four of, of you. One single I horse. think you guys are all pretty small. You've got two I birds and a gnome. <laughs> and then the fire genasi. He's a, he's a, he's a human. He's, He's a human. A human. He, wears, he wears the Plague Doctor. Oh, uh, yeah. Plague Doctor mask picture you sent me just made me straight uh, think Kink you. <laughs> he looks uh, like a bird. Adam. He's got a beak Mine mask. Like a bird. Do you not... That's what Plague my. Oh, okay. I will plague teach my... you a thing after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever seen him with his plate, uh, Plague Do Doctor mask off? No. I'm sure I have. <laughs> <laughs> I I keep buying drinks for him to get him to take it off. Like even every time we hang out, to be like, "What's under the mask?" And he never does. He doesn't. He doesn't speak. He just uh, rings his bell, and uh, that's all he communicates. It's like the the ghost of uh, Christmas Future from uh, oh, uh, no. Christmas Dragons. Carol. This is the way. Yep. <laughs> Um, and just walks out. It's currently, uh, you know, in the evening at the moment. Um, sun's still out for now, but probably not much sunlight left. Um, heading down into the woods, you all start to. Uh, I do. We have horses, or are we on? <laughs> it's only a half hour to get there. It's on not foot. terrible now. Then yeah, we're gonna walk. That's okay. stupid. Well, I'm I didn't sure we're already there. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not bad at all. You guys get there into the woods and you guys did anybody see the comet fall um uh, two yes. nights ago? Okay. I yeah, didn't it sleep much. Yeah, it was a uh during the nighttime a bright streak of red fire just uh crashed down. Um and you actually felt a little bit of a rumble, but um you know, didn't think much of it, I guess. Uh but heading down in that direction, it's not even getting to be fully nighttime yet. But as you get closer and closer to the crash site, um, there's this almost fog, mist, uh, debris, like dust in the air that you think is probably from the meteor yeah. hitting and whatever it crashed and burned up. Um so it's making it actually really hard to see. You can only see about 30 feet in front of you. Um, unless you've got some kind of... Yeah, what do you got? I have a 120 feet of dark vision. <laughs> but, so this is not really dark. Um, how do they word it here? It is... I will set this obscure. place ablaze, Adam. <laughs> uh, I'll, set this, I'll, I'll set this stream on fire, too. Damn it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's obscured. What? Obscured, yeah. It's obscured uh like lighting from the from the dust and smoke. It's not really dark out. Um But uh so walking it's it's kind of hard to see. You would actually need uh blind sense, I think it's called, to be able to see like uh past that thirty feet. Um and up ahead you start to hear what sounds like a Aliens? Sounds like alien. No, you hear. No, um, you hear what sounds like. Um... <sighs> Fuck! I guess I gotta do it. I think that was a turkey yeah. noise. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey you hear a giant. It's the Thanksgiving it turkey so again. Um, no, you hear a. 
No, that was a horse. That was definitely a horse. You don't hear a giant hear, horse or anything. I didn't hear the anything. second part you did. <laughs> okay, hold on. the second That's part at all. That's probably good. That's probably good. You do this for a living. Do we hear snoring? Is that what it is? No, that it's not asleep? snoring. I'm going to take two on this one. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This is live, baby. <laughs> I, can, I can edit it out of the it's stream. Fine, I think that's how it works. Um, you hear... <laughs> it sounds like a big pig, I guess. Um, I think it's I got pretty close pig. on that one. Uh, it sounds like a big pig, and then you hear uh, a man a screaming. Um, it, some might call it a boar. Some might call it a big pig. Is this coming from the crash site or just like in before the, it? In the direction. You guys um, are currently... That's a good question. So... You're walking towards the crash site. You don't yet see like the crater or whatever it left, but you guys do see some uh, what looks like a little bit like you're just now getting to um, like it like a big skid in the ground. So like it's like all mud and like there's some trees in this area that have been like toppled over. So you guys are like following that path to the crash site. And on your way there towards that crash site is where you heard the horse pig thing. And the horse screaming. And the, and the man screaming. We paid to save people. He just told us to check it out. I need some help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think he's. I think he's good. I think he's good too. <laughs> I'm gonna pull yeah. out a ukulele and start strumming on it. Uh, Nick hits his Nick sits his bell and just begins to walk into the the smoke towards the the sound. So, uh, as like walking into the smoke, it's um, you always have that kind of thirty foot diameter of just cloudiness where you can just you know barely see very far in front of you because of that dust that's been kicked up um nix you continue walking down towards this noise and you see a uh what looks like a human wizard he's bald he's got white robes though that have this like gold trim it looks pretty nice but uh, at the moment they're pretty disheveled uh, dirt along the bottom of them as he is running from these two giant boars. Big pigs, some people call them. <laughs> Fire bolts. How big are these things? Um, so boars are already pretty big, so I guess a giant boar uh, is going to be, large. I would or? say, even bigger. Yeah, large size. Dang. Dang, Lark is small. really big in this game, so... And I'm small. I yeah. think. I'm a gnome. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of comical looking now that you see it. Uh, Nyx, you see this guy just running in circles <laughs> from these two big boards. Uh, Nyx just bangs his bell, looks around to the rest of the party, and just kind of, like, points out towards uh, the wizard. I throw a firebolt at the boar. Okay, let's go ahead and roll some initiative. The disadvantage Dang. begins. Oh shit! Really? Dang! I got uh, Johnny's in stream. <laughs> oh, Wait, Johnny! Johnny! Oh, I got plus five initiative. Yeah, you're a fighter. Yes, I am. I got a 12. <laughs> I think. I think. I think I'm a fighter. I, I, yeah. Um, oh, I got a big old nine for the boars. Nine as well. Oh. Got wait, the 10. wait, is this rolling? What is this doing? What are you doing? What no, this isn't rolling. Is you're not rolling in D20. I'm trying. It's not doing anything. Uh, I'll just roll... Shit. Of course. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, here comes the cheat. Do you not have rolls. dice? The cheat. Uh, I literally moved them today into do you that want room. To, 
Do you want me to roll your initiative for your two boars? I have got the Google Dice Roller, and it rolled Aye. an eight. So it actually rolled lower than I wanted. <laughs> um, and then the yeah. wizard got an 18. Um, okay, cool. So, notepad opening up because I'm official and I'm actually keeping track of initiative this game. Proud we'll of see, you. We'll see how long and how many drinks so, that lasts. So, so rare. <laughs> who who uh, got above an 18? Nobody? Okay, wizard will Nobody. be first. Who got... Who thinks they got the next highest, maybe? I got a 12. Is that the bet? Is that the next? Norbit? Who Nine. thinks they got under, next to a 12? Got the Nine. 10. Ren? And then... Uh, what did you have, Nix? Nine. Nine, Okay. Uh, and then what did you have, Joe? Seven. Seven. So you are actually after the boars. I'm glad that they get uh, to go before somebody. I rules. You know that uh, wild boars, the male get up to 200 pounds. And they are, are six feet long. And they're assholes. With, without a tail. <laughs> they're six <laughs> feet long. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean without a tail? They don't have tails, or just no, no, that doesn't no, factor they don't, in? They don't. They don't factor the tail in. <laughs> Dragonbait, you can't get out of your character voice. <laughs> that was, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I can't. It's it's one of those voices that just sticks with you. Um, so the uh, wizard is actually going to get to do something. Uh, he's not totally useless. I bet he is. Hey, we'll see. He might be totally useless if he rolls bad. Um, uh, he is going to turn around and just throw a quick um, firebolt in the direction of the lead boar. Turn and he around. wrote a nat <laughs> 20. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, those are the lying rolls. <laughs> and then with that nat 20, he got a 4 and a 3 on his D... Oh, wait, no, they're D10s, aren't they, Firebolt? They are yes. D10s, yes. Okay. A 10 and a 6. 16 uh, points of damage as this guy uh, turns back and just doesn't even, like, fully face them. Just kind of throws, like, one under his arm um, and lobs it straight into the face of the giant boar. Um, Listen, is this, this wizard is a higher level than we are? You don't know that. He got a nat 20 on I, his firebolt. I, oh, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> so it's kind of, yeah, up in the air what his whole deal is. I was really. about to be like, mm, mm, he can take care of all of this by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Norbit. Norbit. Hey, Dustin, isn't that like a travel thing? What travel? What? That's Orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Adam! <laughs> I had no idea what you were talking about. Oh god. All right. So, this guy's running from two pigs. B big pigs, some might call big them. Pigs. Yeah, big pigs. They, they might call them, you know, okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack the one that is closest to him. Am I able to, like, catch up to him? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. uh, pretty close. So you can only see within 30 feet of you. Um, so if you can see them, that means that they're... You can see kind of this, like, 30 foot in all directions of you, which is actually pretty big. Um, wow. And they're actually running around, like, the edge of this big crater that you guys can see. So oh they're, like... It's not like they're, like... Um, in the crater, but they're right around the edge of it, pretty close to actually like falling in. Um, if they make a wrong wrong slip up, my speed is actually twenty five. So, am I able to like get up on him and attack him? Yeah, you, yeah. Or is he exactly thirty feet away? No, you could just see his thirty feet. So yeah, we'll say that he's within that range. Okay. All right, I'm gonna run up to him and I'm going to do. Booming Blade, I think, on the one that's closest to the guy. Sorry. Okay. I'm just looking. 
Okay, so I attack with my melee weapon. So I have to uh, roll a d20, and if I hit, I guess it does a spell? I think so. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, so hang on. Hang on, that wasn't it. I got a 10 plus my sword is plus 7. So 17. 17 is going to hit this big pig, yes. It is not... This one that you attacked is not wearing any armor. The other one is? Maybe. Oh, no. No, it's not. I'm just... I kid, I kid. It's <laughs> killing me small. <laughs> okay, so it suffers the attack's normal effects, and then it becomes sheathed in booming energy until the start of my next turn. So it does... I, gotta, I keep swapping back, sorry. A D6 plus 7... Dang. Ten damage. Ten damage to the big pig. Okay. Yep, and it's sheathed in energy. If it moves, it takes damage. Ooh. All right. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's gonna be moving. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. Does it like make a big loud noise when you hit with that, or are you just like? Let me breathe the rest real quick. Wait, I don't see anything. <laughs> Hold on, wait! I just realized. What kind of weapon is this? Scimitar. Why? Okay, because I just I just remember that you're a gnome fighter, and I love it. You don't see a lot of small fighters. <laughs> uh, okay, I was just making sure you weren't carrying like a big old like maul around or. Oh no! No, it doesn't yes. say anything about noise, man. Okay, it just it sounds like it booming blade. Booming, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you slice into this, you get a nice slab, uh, slab of uh, fat back bacon off of it, and then um, you see like this like little dingy aura around the pig that you think bullet time. As soon as he starts continuing chasing this wizard, something's gonna happen to him. So I get two rations from that. Yeah, sure. You get two <laughs> rations of fat back bacon. Uh, Rin, you are up. Yes. Um, I am going to cast Shatter. And everyone in a 10-foot sphere uh, around... <laughs> Look at Dustin's face. <laughs> around this pig, huh? Um, around this uh, pig has to make a... Um, a uh, con saving throw but I will use one of my sorcerer points to protect Dustin oh I love yeah. sorcerers ah, thank you you're welcome you <laughs> doubted me I saw the face <laughs> um, I did I, not protect the which, wizard okay that's cool what's your saving throw it's a 13 all right, I'm not going to use the disadvantage on the pig because the pig rolled a... Well, let me see what they have for... Con oh, they actually are pretty constitute, so that would have saved for that pig. So I will use my disadvantage instead on it. Okay. Which was a six plus a three, a nine. That one fails. Other pig... Okay. Six plus nine again. Uh, wizard time... 13. He rolled a 13. I don't think he has a mind. You said yours is 13, right? Yes. Yeah, he. I'm sure he doesn't have a minus constitution, so we'll say that he passed. Okay, uh, so 14 damage for the one pig, 7 damage to the wizard, and the other pig. What does this look like? Um... That wizard's gonna look pretty wrecked. Oh, Johnny so, said she's got disadvantage. But that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a uh, like. Yeah, I didn't that, roll, yeah, yeah, she didn't have to roll I anything know for I that. Disadvantage, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop talking. In I know. <laughs> um, she's yelling that in character at Norbert. I don't have disadvantage, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a sudden loud ringing noise, painful. 
painfully intense erupts from a point of your choice. So basically, right on this pig, this really loud noise erupts from him. Uh, oh, also a... What is this? Hold on. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, you know, yeah. Okay. Um, Shatter actually does, like, bonus damage to, like, um... Objects. Um... Uh, What's it called? What do how do they how do they word it? Organic? No, not organic. Um, glass. I think it says and constructs. Con- yeah, constructs. A, a a creature made out of in inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or metal has okay. disadvantage on the saving throw. Are our pigs made out of metal? No, but <laughs> oh, Norbert, oh no. real quick. A uh, Norbert. Is it Norbit or Norbert? Norbit, man. Okay, it's that's what I've bit. got on the stream. Um, real quick, Norbit, could you roll me, uh, invest, or a perception check, perception check, please. And it's actually two T's, so your Twitch is wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> fix it in a minute. I also want to add. <laughs> what am I rolling? <laughs> perception. I also want to add, um, borders. Well, I got that one, so pl- one plus something. Nah, never mind. <laughs> um, Definitely fail. Um, yeah, so it's not looking good for me huh well, I, no you're good I, Rin, I protected i protected no, him from yeah yeah spell, yeah no so. no no he's good for on that front um rin i'll let you roll a perception check also you're the one that actually that cast a spell i just thought norbit's the closest so he might be able to see this but nope I can't see crap. I'm I'm too short. You're too short. You're like looking at this belly button of this pig. Do pigs have belly buttons? There's belly buttons up in my face. So perception, you said? Yes, please. Uh, that would be an 18. Um, you notice that there are these yellow. Oh, crisp- should I roll that? A d- Hold on. Before okay. you start describing, should I roll that at disadvantage? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, 16. You see that there are these, um, yellow crystals that seem to be, like, jutting out of these pigs at kind of odd angles. Like, uh, one's, like, sticking out of its side. Um, one has two of them sticking out of its back. And the one that failed that check, um, that one, as soon as you cast Shatter it actually like erupts that crystal um, shatters it to the ground and falls away and then in that moment you see that boar uh, kind of like look a little shocked a little scared a little out of place and then uh, turn and I know it's not that it's turning yet but it looks like it's like turning to like bail um, yeah next up is now Nyx Wait, do I not get to do a bonus action? Oh, yeah. Do you got a bonus action? Not I a lot do. of people actually have bonus action, so I always just I kind of... I do. I am going to run up and cast Dragon's Breath. Okay. And I am going to... Uh, breathe fire at the other pig that is not about to run away. So you're going to you're gonna cook it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to smell delicious. To make- it needs to make a deck saving throw. Wow. three Is that three sixes in a row? No, I got a uh, 13 in there. Yeah, it got a six, and guess what? A big pig is not super dexterous, so. Okie dokie. Um... You are stuck. You're gonna be talking like that oh. all night. We're gonna the stream's gonna end, and you're gonna like <laughs> talk to somebody. Okie dokie. No, it's, it's fine. Uh. Shit, I already forgot this wizard's voice. Uh. Uh, 12. 12 points of damage to the piggy pig. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> you, uh. Breathe this flame all over this pig. It starts to sizzle a bit. Smells so fucking good. Uh. Nyx. It's making you hungry and it's your turn. <laughs> Yeah, so um, hearing the big shatter noise, Nyx decides to just like nod his head towards uh, Rin and just uses his mace to strike his bell and casts uh, Toll of De- Toll the Dead on the, the one that's running away. 
Okay. What does Toll the Dead do? Wisdom oh, saving spell. through. Okay. Well, pigs probably aren't super, super wise. Uh, 11. Uh, minus two, a nine. Nice. <laughs> okay, so it's it took damage. It takes, uh, it took damage, so it takes a uh, one d twelve. Okay, that's a twelve. Oh, twelve so. damage. Uh, Nothing damage. Ooh, uh, that one. Uh, you can go ahead and describe what that looks like and how you killed that one. Yeah, so the the kind of sound uh, reverberates from the um the bell that he's, he carries with him. Um, and you just see the, the the boar's head just kind of like implode, and it drops to the ground. That one, uh, no more. It is now other boar turn. Other boar, Norbit. It's going to turn towards you. Oh man! Yeah, sorry, bud. Uh, it's going to kind of like skid to a stop from chasing the other dude, uh, the wizard, and then it is going to uh, tusk you. Okay. For a 2 plus 5, does a 7 hit Norbit? No. The boy that was running away decided to fight us? No, the one that was running away is the one that has Ash killed. Damn it, Sash! <laughs> he can't. It, you could. It wasn't like oh, overtly like obvious that it was running away because like it hadn't taken its turn yet. It was just something that you, Rin, kind of recognized as you shattered that crystal from it. Wait, um, wait did um the one I hit before try to move? That was this one. Um, but he turned. You said he turned and yeah. I mean, him. you hit him, right? And yeah. then, so he, like, turned and tried to tusk you. So I don't think he really moved any since you were, like, on him. If that's okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. That's all that that dude can, that, uh, big pig can do. Uh, now it is Morion's turn. How, how do you disengage? How I don't see so disengage on him. Bonus action, and then you can just uh, move away without uh, provoking opportunity attack. Is it, or is it an action for him because he's a fighter? I'm not it is an action for everybody anywhere. except for rogues, yes. Yes. I don't see disengage. Oh, here it is. You got to click actions, yeah. yeah. I got you. Yeah. So did Let's we hear see. that Morion has a ukulele? Yes. <laughs> is he just playing a song this whole time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he's gonna stop playing the ukulele and put it back and he's gonna kind of hop because he he doesn't walk he just kind of hops like a little robin he's gonna hop <laughs> over to the uh the crystal that's laying on the ground and pick it up and i'd like to cast identify okay cool what does identify do <laughs> you choose one object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell if it is a magic item or some other magic imbued object, you learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement to use, and how many charges it has, if any. You learn whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. If you instead touch a creature, you learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Ooh. Uh, dang, you're going to get quite a lot from this, I think. Um, so this seems to be, this works on like, um, this isn't just for magic items, right? This, this works on like, you choose one object that you must touch throughout okay. the casting. If the magic, if it is a magic item or some other magic imbued object. So it could be any object. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll work with that. Yeah. It, um, you uh, pick this uh, shard up. It's giving off just a barely faint yellow glow. And as soon as you uh, cast a spell and start to kind of sense what it's all about, you see that um, it's not from Faerun. It's not from this world. It seems to be... Um, some kind of like extraterrestrial uh, material. Um, 
and you can kind of piece together I'll just give you that that it's probably from this comet um, and you can sense that it has some kind of hive mind properties to it um, like mind control hive mind properties to this shard um, and there's probably a source to it there is a source to it your identify would tell you that there, like looking at this shard you can tell that it has a stronger link to some source somewhere that is granting it that hive mind um, property. Hmm. It's a good. That's a good. That was a good spell, Morion. I'm gonna turn around to the group and uh, in Giorgio Sokolos's uh, voice, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then from there, uh, that was an action, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we are back up to the wizard. Uh, the wizard stops full front, sees the boar uh, has turned its attention in orbit. It then is going to grab its butt, and you see the wizard's fingers light up blue as he casts uh, Frost Touch. What's that called? It's called Frost Touch, I think. <laughs> Chill touch. Cold Chill touch. touch. What, what is Chill it? Chill touch. Chill touch. Chill touch. I knew it was one of those. You're the DM. Just make it up. I just yeah. <laughs> frosty, frosty fingertips on the butt. That's Popsicle what it's touch. called. Uh, frostbite, maybe even some. Frostbite. <laughs> some might oh say. Uh, so. Oh my god. <laughs> con saving throw. Frost touch. Chill butt. <laughs> It's next ah, it's saved. Uh, this this boar's butt is just too rugged, um, and just too well furred, um, and it just seems to just have no effect on this boar butt. Uh, coming up next would be Norbit. Norbit, this pig has now. You can see now that you saw like uh, Morion pick up that shard, and you saw that grin shatter those one shards on the other pig. You see that now it's got these two uh, yellow shards in its side. And um, other than that, like that alone seems pretty painful. But you guys have been just messing this thing up with fire bolts and with uh, shatters. Um, this this pig doesn't look um, really well off. This is the one that you skinned a little bit of it too. It's right. It's It's still snarling at you though. It's, it's still on me. Like, close to me? Yeah, right on you. It, this is the one that tried to tusk you. I think I'm just going to do a basic attack then with my scimitar. I'm in the process of rolling. Hang on. 17 plus 7. Yep. yep. That'll yep. do it. So that's going to do... D6 plus 7. Twelve damage. Ooh. Um, yeah. Go ahead and describe what that one looks like. Where you hit it with your scimitar and killed it. This pig. Yeah, the big pig. Yeah, I just I I cut his uh, little belly, and his yeah. He, it he sounds cute when you say it like that. Go out. You know his innards it's go out. His it's pretty belly. nasty. <laughs> Don't look away. <laughs> look away. <laughs> look away. Look away. I just, I just cute, cutely vivisect it. Yeah, it's cu it's really cute the way that Norbit does it. <laughs> I guess that's really the only thing you can reach on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny little gnome was like. I try to cut some more bacon off. <laughs> and you accidentally cut too much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, it's, as soon as that last, uh, big pig is dropped and dies, um, you guys are, like I said, you can see, like, this rim of this crater, um, looking down, 
it actually seems like pretty steep. Uh, it's a pretty deep um, hole that this crater left. And, or that this meteor left in this crater. And the uh, wizard now uh, wipes his uh, shiny bald head and says, what was that voice? Um, he only screamed. So he, can he only screamed. We don't know what he sounds like yet. Well, no, because he also screamed, like, help me or something. And I did something. It was something. your normal voice, Adam. I don't think it was. I think it was something really goofy. Um, like, ah! Ah! Oh, okay, geez. let me. I just need my anchor, my uh, my anchor phrase, and my anchor phrase for this guy is. There's my voice. Oh, thank thank you all for uh, for saving me. My name's Jake, and uh, he outstretches his hand. Stay farm. Jake from yeah, he's wearing khakis <laughs> under his uh, uh, white robe. Yeah, I'm um, khakis. Um, uh, Joe, you... just so you know, you have advantage on whatever <laughs> from the chat. Also, awesome. thank you, yeah. chat. You're welcome. I am keeping an eye whoever on whoever did that. it. <laughs> it was jo it's Johnny. Johnny. It's always Johnny. Johnny's trying to get thank me you, killed at any way he can. <laughs> All right, what are you all doing here? Uh, uh, we were paid to come here. Oh, cool. Like, to help me? I don't know if we were supposed to help you. I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> I'm Jake from State Farm. From State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my khakis? I did see your khakis. You want to see them again? <laughs> God damn it! Johnny is being a dick. <laughs> because I talked out of character, which is not true. <laughs> oh, man. I do not want to see your khakis again. <laughs> what are you doing here, sir? I'm looking. I'm looking for my husband. My husband went missing from the tower a couple of days ago, and I uh, was coming to investigate and study the the comet. So I'm just supposed to, you know, thought they should have been back by now. It's been two days, so I'm just looking to, uh, you know, see where um, he went. Jake, what is your husband's name? Um, uh, Larry. And you got it's got three A's in it. Larry. Larry. <laughs> Fuck. So come on, let's go find him. I think you guys were like paid to help me, I guess. I don't know who you are. I'm Jake, Jake from State Farm. I got cat can you need to see the car keys again? <laughs> Yes, no. No. Next one, next walks up and kind of like looks at him creepily and just like rings the bell and then points to the, the comet thing and just kind of like gestures. Yeah, I, I can. Follow the silent one. I can cast Feather Fall on all of us and we could just jump on down there. It'd probably be kind of fun. Don't worry about that. I will just climb down. <laughs> Suit yourself. It's going to be kind of fun. Any, any takers? Well, yeah, Moria, yeah. Oh, I don't know why I knew your name. <laughs> I forgot to tell you I'm a wizard, and I've got I'm a divination wizard, so I I divination can, magic. Yeah, Moria, Norbit, Ren, Nix. I know you all. What? Now it's no. now it's not weird, right? It is weird. How do you know who I am? It That's, is weird. I weird. did see your khakis. <laughs> <laughs> divination magic. Um. All right. Who's you got to the count of three? I'm about to jump. Who all wants it? Yeah, Nick just starts like walking off the edge, hoping that he casts the. He he runs up real quick and uh, just taps you on the back of the head. It's feather fall might not be a touch, but this guy thinks it's a touch. Uh, so he runs Hi. up, pops you on the back of the head. He goes over to Morion and boops you on the beak. What about you, little guy? You want some? Oh no! Don't ask, don't ask it like that, you psycho! You you want some of this? Yeah, you a little one. No, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back up away from you. <laughs> well, how are you gonna get down this big hole? You're not 
very tall. Um, can I just like hang on to someone else? I mean, I think she's climbing down, but didn't you say? Didn't you say you're climbing down? I'm, I'm me? I no, Rin. I know I his names now, so I can just. I thought I thought about it, but then I remembered I was not a monk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I'm gonna give you a boop, Rin. Here it comes incoming okay. boop, okay. Rin. Okay. Here <laughs> it comes. <laughs> <laughs> It's creepy. Now, what about you, little guy? You, you want some of this? <laughs> sure, meet me. <laughs> he doesn't boop you, Norbit. He picks you up like you pick up like a little kid in the pool. You know how like you, you like throwing like little kids up in the pool. He grabs yeah. you up by under the armpits, picks you up, and just <laughs> to fucking judge you. That's not the cliff. <laughs> into, into the crater, the cliff. But he did cast it like just before he let go. So uh, it's gonna take you a little bit longer than everybody else to get down since you were uh, launched up a little bit higher. And then uh, he jumps down to after you all and just hovers down to the ground. <laughs> And uh, so this crater is, uh, it's pretty massive. It's, um, you actually can't see all of it at one spot because of that dust that's in the air. Um, and he says, all right, do you all just, okay, wait, hold on. We got to wait for this guy. He's like looking up at Norbit. This Norbit's falling down super slow. We have time for a short rest while he floats down. <laughs> yeah, we probably do. I think it's, it slows it pretty slow. All right, yeah, if you don't want to like, just hang out and like, I'll catch him, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I need to, but it'd be fun. Nix it'd be is, funny. Nix is just like ignoring him and just walking towards the, the comet. <laughs> okay, so uh, like walking around, you can see that there is an entrance uh, to this, like on the edge of it where the comet like hit you know cause this huge crater and then um seems to have like went and got embedded into the ground and it opened up like a like a tunnel where it's a uh, big crater big hole in the edge of the crater where it looks like the comet like continued on further into it i guess we probably gotta go like down in there just i mean one one minute real quick I All right, there you go. I got you, buddy. He catches you, Norbit. <laughs> plants you down. Well, thank you. It's a, a real sweet moment. It's like dark dancing. He's he's he just hold, <laughs> he holds you for a little bit. It just gazes into your eyes. <laughs> I got you. You're uh, married. You. I got, well, no, it's not. It's not like farm. that. You're looking hey. deeply into it, into his eyes. You are married. It's, Do you want me to tell Larry? Larry. <laughs> Larry. Yeah, I don't know who Larry is. And who Larry is. This voice is going to fucking husband. kill my throat tonight. Um. All right, let's... Yeah, okay, we're ready. Let's go. Let's go find Larry. 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 So, uh... Yeah, inside this tunnel, I mean, you guys can look in and see that in here, there's not that cloud of, um, you know, dust that's kind of obscuring your vision. And here is Dragon Bait, just darkness. You can see in here. Who all has dark vision? 120 feet. For me. Gnomes, pro you're a rock gnome, Dustin. Rock gnomes probably have. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't know where, where would that be on this. It would be under dark vision, sixty yeah. feet. Do kinkus have dark vision? Not no. Apparently. Oh, the blind, the blind little bird. I um, I boop Marion on the nose and cast light on his beak. <laughs> like that would blind him. Even yeah, wait. More. <laughs> <laughs> I think. That I don't think he'd be able to see that. Just like, white light in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the sun right on your nose. Just hold my hand. <laughs> he just, just, just reaches over and just goes, boop. 
So Johnny gave one disadvantage and one advantage for me to pick who gets which. Dragon Bait, you've been killing with the character voice. I'm going to give you... No, I'm going to give you an advantage. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> he already gave me disadvantage. One advantage, one disadvantage. Um, yeah. And then, Dustin, I'm going to give you a disadvantage because I'm not going to give one of our patrons a disadvantage. I'm going to give my brother a disadvantage. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, so, yeah, looking down into this ca cavern, uh, it does... Um, it, like, opens up into what looks like uh, like a cave complex, like a system of tunnels, and um, there's like a path that's cut through where it looks like the meteor like continued on and kept going. But even so, it's not like it's just that tunnel from that meteor. It looks like there were existing tunnels and caves <laughs> here already. Is there crystals in the on the 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 tunnel here, or is it just stone? Uh Along the floor, uh, roll me uh, an investigation check. While he's doing that, this tunnel, it's like a tunnel system that it's been exposed and it's going Exactly. Down. Yes, yeah. It looks like a pre-existing tunnel system that this meteor exposed as it shot in through it. Okay, so it's if a that system makes sense. of down. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just want to make sure. It's kind of hard, the, the layout and the... Uh, geometry of how exactly, yeah. We just gotta kind of work with it as if you guys are now in a tunnel complex. And Sash, you've got advantage if you need it. Yeah, I, I used a uh, 21. 21. Um, you see lining the path of where the meteor went, you're seeing these little yellow slivers uh, not quite the full crystal that, like, Morion picked up and looked at, but just these, like, little remnants of them as if, like, this meter as it was gliding through this path, like, some small parts of it broke off. I like the way that Morion's got, like, the most information, but it's got no way to, <laughs> to say this now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Doesn't, doesn't have the, the vocabulary as a KMQ to be able to <laughs> explain the whole situation. <laughs> oh, we could do some charades. Because Moron <laughs> does have quite a bit of info. Fine. We will figure it out when we run into the aliens. <laughs> Johnny said yes. Johnny wants to see some charades. Well, Johnny. <laughs> that or aliens. He wants to see oh, aliens. Oh, yeah. Either <laughs> wants to see aliens or charades. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, now you guys could all see with Morion's beak uh, lighting the way. <laughs> Except for Morion, he is very, very blind. So are we like pushing him along the way? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of like guiding him with my mace, just kind of stopping him from like bouncing off the wall. You know these things that the dogs have when they've got like a kind of ring around them. So if they don't start bouncing into things, I'm just like using my hammer just to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> going down into this tunnel, it's um, rocky surfaces. It looks like... Um, let's do some... Everybody do a survival check to see, like, about this oh. tunnel complex. Apparently, I'm oh, good nice. at survival. Apparently, I'm good at survival as well. Do you want 19? me to roll my disadvantage, well, Adam? You might want to save that because Nick's got a nineteen. Nineteen. Um, you want me to save my disadvantage? <laughs> no, <laughs> go ahead and roll it. Go ahead and roll it. Everybody I will roll save it and my every... advantage, but every... I will not save my disadvantage. <laughs> Everybody That's go ahead and roll. The first one was a nineteen. This one was a natural twenty, so it is a <laughs> twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. With disadvantage, my god. With disadvantage! <laughs> you wasted that roll, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, it looks like these tunnels were not natural tunnels. 
<laughs> not even the well, not even like the not the crater tunnel, but like the cave complex that it exposed. They don't look natural. Ah, tw was it a 21, 22? So this it was this a alien 22. Alien landed here on purpose. Maybe. Into his little base here. You don't, we don't know that. We don't even know if it was actually an alien. All we know is that... It's always aliens. It's, always it's aliens. not always aliens. Elfids. John is shouting Elfids in the chat. Um, Rin. Yes. You can tell these distinct claw marks and even some acid burns on these uh, tunnels that have kind of like carved out this system. And with the 22, um, this jogs your memory and makes you think that this is actually an Ankeg. Is that how is you say an that? Alien? Ankeg? An alien? Ankeg. No, Ankeg. What? Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is, Adam. They are... Oh, monster. Bug. They're like these big, large size, um, like, bug creatures. Like, Dustin, you fought them in... Uh, uh, Dragon of Ice Fire Peak, the mini campaign in the lumber yard, they burst out of the ground. Oh, yeah. um, they look like, if you ever played StarCraft, they look like Zerglings a little bit, like real big. Nice. Um, nice. They're like big brown bugs, like hardened carapaces, and then they've got these giant talons. They spit acid, and they are like seven feet tall, um, and they like burrow underground and like make cave systems and things. And this looks like this was an existing um, Ankave, or Ankh. How do you say that? Can you spell Ankeg. it for me? Yeah, let me spell it real quick, and everyone can look up a picture of them. It is A-N-K-H-E-G, Ankheg. You can just, well, like, if you just Google that, it'll pull up a pretty good... I, know, I did. I did Google it uh, because I was very confused on your description of this thing you should have said it looked like the cockroach from men in black one yes it looks like the cockroach <laughs> from men in black exactly yeah but it's got like these sharpened just, talons this is just starship they, tri trippers at this moment yeah star oh, any, yeah, whatever, that's whatever, that's whatever that's movie you want to think yeah, yeah star uh starship troopers aliens um men in black alien zerglings just think big <laughs> Big giant bugs that are will fuck you up. Um, so aliens? So we talking aliens? <laughs> no, they're not aliens. They're just, okay, okay, uh huh. They're bugs. These are these are creatures okay. uh -huh. that live on our planet. That I know what they are, so they're not aliens. <laughs> yes. So you will just have that knowledge going into this tunnel system. Cool, 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 cool. I will let the other people know because I can use actual words, unlike our very. <laughs> feathery friend uh hey guys uh there is this unkeg clay whatever it's called they look like the giant uh the giant cockroach from men in black one that very famous play that is in this world <laughs> and they Nick's, invite to be Nick's around here he just kind of like shakes his head and pretends to start walking back up the <laughs> the tunnel again it's like Hi, no Nick's. Mm -hmm. turns around again and continues walking after the party. <laughs> I'm going to wave my feathers and then I'm going to say in the uh, the bartender's voice, probably shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> yeah, he is a liar. <laughs> uh, the worst hey, man guys, I well, you're all stopping. What are, we, what are we talking about? Sorry, I was a little We're bit talking behind. talking about your husband that's probably dead. Oh no, he can handle himself. He won't be dead. He's a wizard like oh, me. I... Well, and he does you... press digitation. You right. almost died too with the by boar. You All almost right. died by boar. I could have I could have handled him, but you know, spell slots and everything. <laughs> yes, I do know of spell slots. I have them as well. Yeah, so you know like it you don't want to like, have to take a big long rest and get them back, so I was just like saving some. I don't some. have to do that. I'm a sorcerer. I can use sorcerer points to get my back shit in. La -ti -da, sorcerer. I'm a wizard. You might have noticed my spell book, and he pops it out. He says it doubles as a journal, and he flips to the back half of the journal and starts writing down um, 
He writes, what? What is Rin again? Rin. Uh, fire, fire, fire Genasi. Genasi. Uh, right, um, um, right, uh, red, red lady. He's talking out loud as he's writing into the back <laughs> half of his uh, wizard book or spell book. Red lady, very mean to me. Did not like that at all. I will set his book on fire, and then how useful will he be? <laughs> Nick's um, is kind of looking at the party and then uh, kind of points towards the what's the name? Jake and he casts Stay Thaumaturgy to, he casts therm- Thaumaturgy to make some whispers in the guy's head it's like ominous whispers just like <laughs> just for okay. no reason just because okay. he's bored he pops his like, book back out again <laughs> starting to hear things not a good sign <laughs> <laughs> he closes it up all right, guys. Let's um go. Let's go find Larry. Uh, Jake from State Farm. Yes. Um, that's my I name. think you should. I think you should lead the party, and we'll just stay like a few feet back, and make sure that nothing is coming from behind, and may- maybe use you as bait. <laughs> He uh, he cast light on his uh, spell book uh, slash journal. Nix was, Nix was about to boop him on the nose as well and cast light. Okay. So he can't see either? Ah, <laughs> so many boops tonight. Uh, oh, he can, no. So now his, his uh, vision is definitely obscured as his nose starts to glow this bright white light. And uh, he starts to just walk on in. Um... I really he's kind of because he's walking up the tunnel instead of down the tunnel. <laughs> and then he turns around, kind of gets oriented again. All right, okay, that's your down the slope. All right. Uh, he continues to walk down, and um, he can't see a lot, uh, so he's kind of like feeling the walls as he's going down. And you guys can see from the light of his nose as he uh, enters into like this cavern where. The path of the meteor kind of went a little bit off to the side and, you know, kind of like cut through, um, cut through this entire like pathway. You can see that the existing tunnel system that uh, Jake from State Farm is following opens up into this cavern where you guys see like from the light of his nose, you guys can see that it looks like this is some kind of like hatchery. There are. Um, a couple stalactites from the ground, stalactites from the ceiling, and then there are some um, two distinct different pools that are housing. The, it's like this green bubbling pool that each of them, and they each have about a dozen like ostrich-sized eggs, bright, vibrant green eggs in the bubbling uh, liquid. Morian is going to look over at Rin. I will look at the <laughs> eggs, and they are not good, so I think I will set them on fire. <laughs> I think that is what my friend wanted. It has it been past a minute, Adam. It has been past a minute. Okay, dokie, I will use burning hands. <laughs> Wait, what? What was the minute about? That was the dragon's breath. Okay. Oh, okay. You could cast that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? I am <laughs> not going to use burning hands because that'll take a spell slot. Instead, I will do produce flame and set shit on the fire that way. So as soon as you cast uh, Produce Flame and that, could you, do you have that pulled up so they could read what it does? Uh, I mean, obviously, yes. you like make it in like the palm of your hand, right? And you can either carry it or throw it like a fire bolt. Yeah. So yeah. are you like throwing it at one of the eggs or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you... Uh, chuck it out one of the eggs. I'm not gonna have you have to roll for it because I mean it's a big, egg. it's a pretty big egg. It'd be pretty uh, hard to miss. You chuck it at this egg. We'll just do that because I have it is a cantrip, 
and yeah. I can do as many as I want. But uh, you hit one, and then I'm gonna need you to make a deck save real quick. That's that's fine. I have advantage. Damn I'm it! I tap her on the shoulder while she's doing that. Cast guidance. <laughs> well, what does that do for me? Just add a, add a D4. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is a 17 plus a D4. Uh, 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 that is a 21. Okay, I'm so, so Dexy, guys. <laughs> so Dexy. <laughs> Dexy, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you see a stream of green bile come from one of those stalactites on the ceiling. Shoot oh, down gross. in your direction. You dodge out of the way, and only a little bit gets on your leg. Um, so you will be taking five points of acid damage and then we will roll I should have been a water genasi because then <laughs> I would have been immune <laughs> and then we will go ahead and roll uh, uh, another round of initiative oh no as we are fighting um, the cockroach from men in black the one the cockroach from men in black one from Star tri- starship troopers from Z- Stark, I'm now realizing they're all alien movies that we're talking about, yeah. <laughs> but these yeah. things are not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you guys can now see, like after one of them shot that acid at Rin, you see uh, three of them total drop from the ceiling. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 14. Okay. 19. 19? 19. What did Norbit get? 21. Aren't you in roll 20 main? Well, no, I haven't been using it because. Uh, Yours isn't working. Yeah, it's not working. Like, even, working. Even I got your 21. Roll, I don't see your roll. What did you get, Morion? It beca- it's weird. Uh, it's not showing. Morion got a 16. Dang. Is it because you are in the wrong roll 20? Because it looks like you're rolling d- d6s and that may have been for a roll for weird. It's not. It's it's weird on the um, Twitch. It's showing like complete different numbers and whatever that is. Yeah, I don't see. I. Oh, did I invite you guys to the wrong one? Probably. I'm in it... um, like our the original one we're always in. Is it say OSO and H two H? Yeah. Whoops! I invited you guys to the wrong one. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what you and me are in. Yeah, I'm joining it, it now. In the wrong one. Okay. I, there I'm in it now. It is. It's all blank. Okay. Um. Rin, what did you get again? Because I got the nineteen. Okay. These things got a seven. Nice. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> okay. For first up again is Norbit. Right. So there's three of them. Yes. How close are they? Uh they are about let me uh I actually have like a map that I can actually see like how big this room is. They are about about 15 feet into like the center of this room. It's, an, it's another like kind of like a 30 foot diameter cavern. Uh, high ceilings. Uh, they have dropped down from the ceiling and they are in the middle of there are those two pools, uh, one on each side. They are the smack dab in the middle of those pools. Three of them about 15 feet from uh, you all where you all are at this entrance. And then the path of the meteor went like off to the left, but you don't think that they. But what? You have you have advantage, Norbert. So you've got one advantage and one disadvantage. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um. 
What do these guys look like? Do they look like they would, you know, do some, like, fire damage to me or anything like well, that? Well, one just spit acid at Ren. Acid. They look like... Big they, uh, bugs. Cockroach from Men in Black 1. <laughs> the famous I, play. I the famous play. Do... Let's see. I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb on one of them and do uh, fire damage. Okay. Maybe, maybe, hopefully. Maybe. I'm, do I make a save for that? Um, I hope not. Shoot, I got to go back. Hang on. Um, I just hurl it. I think you make a roll then for Choose. it. Choose. Yes. Yes, is if the attack hits, the creature takes damage. So I guess I just yeah range spell attack. Yep. Good, because it rolled a two for its save. A range spell attack. Well, I got eighteen plus something. So. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Yeah. Oh, I know. And three d eight damage. Mm -hmm. 13. I got a 1 and a 6 and a 6. <laughs> 13 damage. Okay. And it's fire? Guard. Yep. Alright, they're not like uh, resistant or uh, weak to fire or anything, so you hurl this big glowing red ball right at it. Uh, hits the one uh, smack dab in the center. Um, it actually looks like it does um quite a bit to it uh it's whole like carapace armor is kind of sizzling um it looks a little bit like weakened now um uh, as these three are like moving at you all in a triangle format formation um next would be rin yeah i'm going to cast shatter again they need to make a con saving throw all three of them let me see if I can actually roll in here now. Oh! <laughs> that one was a nat 20. Fail. Okay. Okay. That was back-to-back -back nat 20s. And it's actually on the stream. Yeah, that's fine. They still and take, a four. you know, and a four. half damage. And then a four. So that one will take... That's that's we'll say fine. that it's a lead one, just so that we can like keep all the damage on that lead one. Okie dokie. E Twenty-one points of damage for that lead one. Oh, you wait real quick. Um, go ahead and describe how you killed that one. Oh, that's well, the one the that noise... Norbit also hit with the orb. That, that's fine. The noise comes and it just like reverberates and then the thunder and it kills it. That's she all. cannot get out of this voice. <laughs> you cannot switch <laughs> between the two. Yes, <laughs> I can. Get... <laughs> no, Here is you... my normal voice. I am talking normally now, Adam. But every time I talk normally, somebody <laughs> gives me disadvantage. So here I go, back it. into my into my uh, my little accent. Hey Johnny, you know what to do. <laughs> no, Johnny, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was a you trap, and I fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I gotta win uh, somehow. Just kidding. So the other two take half damage of twenty-one. Oof. Okay. Yeah, that that noise. Um, as it shatters, uh, there is a real stalactite right above that lead one. That uh, it already uh, like it kind of knocks back a little bit. It looks really rough from just like this reverberation against this already like weakened carapace and you see it knock loose a uh, stalactite from the ceiling and it falls down and uh, pierces through its head next hard to follow that one up but Morion 
Moirin is going to uh, cast Silent Image and create the image of a bullet coming out of the thing, out of the uh, side of the chasm and start munching down on the uh, the carcass. Oh, uh, okay. The creature bullet. Uh, yes. I was like, I was Wait, like a yeah. bullet, like a gun bullet. And then I started <laughs> like picturing a bullet just falling. <laughs> and then I started picturing the bullet from uh, Mario. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna. It's a natural predator, so of bugs. So I, I'm attempting to cast that silent image, and then I'm gonna use my mimicry to make the sounds to make it more realistic. Okay. I just open my beak and I'm making the sounds of it crashing through the wall and beginning to munch down on the body. Okay. Deception. Nice. Okay. I like it. Let's roll. So uh, you all see, like, you other three are probably a little spooked. Like, what the fuck? Now we got to find a bullet, too? As you see this bullet come up and start, like, eating this carcass. Um, the other two seem to still just be focused on. You four, and real quick, that actually makes you think, Dustin. What are you rolling for? <laughs> you just roll. I thought you said roll for initiative. <laughs> My bad. You're already in the initiative. What are I you talking know. about? <laughs> I was gonna say roll. Um, I heard you say roll. I don't know. Roll nature. Roll. Everybody, give me a nature check, real quick. Nature. That is not to my strong. So that's nature. actually a minus one. What I rolled. Twelve. Ugh. Now you got day seven. <laughs> Twelve, seven. Norbit, what'd you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Joe, what'd you get? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was rolling. Yeah, yeah. Just a nature check real quick. Just about... Um, I rolled a eight. <laughs> eight. Norbit. Um... As soon as you see this illusion, maybe uh, maybe you've seen Morion do this before, uh, so you're kind of a little bit used to it. Um, you realize it's not a real bullet, and then uh, the fact that the other two don't even miss a beat uh, makes you think that it's really out of character for an Ankeg to uh, not either uh, try to attack a bullet or run from a bullet. Um, and with a 19, it, uh, makes you realize that something is, uh, like, got a hold of these, um, things. Yeah. And then and, next and What up, are these things? These are the big bug things. These you know, are just big bugs. Big bugs. These are the... Cockroaches the from Men in Black One. The famous play. <laughs> the famous <Still>. play. <laughs> um. So yeah, Morion, you don't really know like why they're ignoring that silent image. You would think that this that would have been a really good plan. That would have that should have worked. That should have driven them away or at least like caused them to attack it. But for some reason, they are ignoring it. Um. Next up is Nyx. Uh, so yeah, Nix is going to move slightly back uh, up the, the tunnel. Uh, he's going to just ring his bell, ding, 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 and then bless the three other party members. Oh, cool, cool. So bless, that and means that... A, a D4 to attack rolls and save and throws. Nice. Yes. And um, is any of the rest of the party looking a bit sore? No. No, Okay. I don't think so. Everybody has anybody. Has somebody's been, been hit, killed. right? I don't no, know. I, been hit. I've been hit, but you, it was only five points to yeah, damage. Yeah, because you rolled really good for your save. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I so. did, <laughs> and because Nick helped me, because he's a good boy person. I don't know what he is under there, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody really. I, <laughs> that's what I said. I don't know who has seen. It's literally just a mask. Like you can't see under the eyes either. It's just like um, it's like a see-through kind of film black film um so you can't even see the eyes yeah but yes we're, so a d4 we to are going to Marian, Ren, and Norbit. we're going That's to it. find out that he is a beautiful woman when he takes off his mask <laughs> <laughs> this is just the like way. prince charming under there <laughs> blonde flowing hair blue yeah, eyes yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Next. All right. Uh, so you are all blessed now. Oh, next up are the on cakes. So yes, they are going to ignore that image. Um, weirdly enough. They are going to, uh, so the one that was in the front is the one that actually did the first spit. But now these two are going to do their own spit. Um, what's the formation looking like? Because their spit is a 30-foot line that is 5 feet wide. Oh my god. I feel like that might hit us all. <laughs> I moved back, so. <laughs> that might hit the rest of us. Most likely. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like shoulders what, what and like shape is, room? is it like a circular room, or is it? it? It this is a circular room with one entrance. Sorry, <laughs> whoever's watching. I'm sorry, I just punched my mic. Uh, one entrance that. Um, I'm not going to say, like, you guys are all, like, so lined up in that entrance. It's uh, just a perfect um, line for this acid. Um, did uh, uh, Jake from State Farm, did he roll initiative? He's last. He's going to go next. Okay. He's, so, he's, um, he's warming up something. He's getting there. I'm, prob I'm probably off to the side a little bit because I was throwing shit at the eggs. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... All right, how about this? How about we say Morion and Norbit make one save. And then Rin and Wizard, Jake from State Farm, makes a save. I got a... D4. Wait, no, my bad. Hang on. Okay, so it's a deck save, you said? This is a deck save from the acid spit. Moirin got a nine. Okie dokie. Did you add a D4? Let me pull oh. up. Um, the save we are looking for is a DC 13, so you might be able to make it That's with a D. Oh. oh. I rolled a two. Well, I got an 11. Okay. That's okay, because I rolled a natural 20. Okay, so. Wait, do I have advantage? Uh, yes. uh, you've got a disadvantage and an advantage, so I don't know how we work that. If you want, you can go ahead and use your advantage <laughs> for that. Okay. Then next time We're looking for a 13, it. and you get to add a D4 from Sash. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Um, so anybody who got a th uh, lower than a 13, uh, so if you got a 13, you saved. Anything lower than a 13, though, uh, you will be taking 10 points of acid damage, and um, anything above that, you will be taking 5 points of acid damage. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Wizard turn. <laughs> Uh, the wizard is going to, um, so I had to keep pulling up what all spells he's got. What about that weather nowadays, right? Am I, am I right? <laughs> yeah, comments yeah, falling from the sky. Hey, Are we talking excited? about the... Who's excited for uh, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden? That shit looks pretty cool, doesn't it? What the hell is that? What? It's the next D&D uh, &D campaign that comes out in September. It looks really cool. Oh, it's supposed to be cool. themed and based off of, like, Alien and the Thing. So, like, snow-based. Oh. You're well, getting hunted the, by like, a monster. Big Owl monster? Yeah, recovery? it looks really yeah. cool. So, I only play those games when you run them at them and you don't invite me to that enough so I don't know these things <laughs> uh, Sash did ask if I would run that for our patrons um, when it comes Will out you? I think, yes I well, so um, while I'm pulling up all these things real quick uh, it um, I'll go ahead and just plug our patreon patreon.com one shot onslaught yeah go ahead and go pee because I'm pulling up this thing spells real quick it's, it sounded like this is going to be a minute yeah <laughs> so um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to add a goal that for our $20 and up patrons I'm going to start a monthly like campaign like a published book campaign um, and uh I think I would love to run that one. 
So this thing is going to okay, cool. It's uh, Jake from State Farm uh, holds out his hand in like a like a triangle, triforce, and he is going to cast Scorching Ray. And you see on the on keg to the left, you see two big beams of fire come down right through the top of his head, and then one on the one to the right. Um, so he makes attack rolls for all of those. Whoa, what is his plus? Plus six. Okay, one's going to hit <laughs> the one on the left. Uh, is this the wizard? Is he finally doing shit? He's trying, but it didn't. he didn't roll super good. Uh, but one beam of fire comes down on the on keg to the left, and uh, it's going to do six points of fire damage, which isn't a lot. Um, yeah, he didn't do super good at all. Um, I shit. He tried. I do Next not just, scare uh, him as a bad wizard. Oh shit! Really <laughs> Norbit's supposed to be next, but we'll skip him for now and let Rin go. Okie dokie. I will do a thing. I don't know what it is yet because I hadn't planned on being ready. Um, I will. Uh, do, 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 do. I will thunderclap this guy. Man, you've been doing a lot of like uh, shatter thunderclap ish, and you know what? You're doing pretty good. Clap. Yeah, they need to make a constitution saving throw. Do you have to get up on them for that, right? No. It's, just well, sort of. Um, no, it's... Yeah, so... Mm, you're right. <laughs> maybe, okay. maybe not this time, no. it's squishy. It was more of me asking for purposes of a perception check. Um, no, I will, I will do a chaos bolt from afar. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. He's going to kill the the sorcerer. Um, so I'm going to chaos bolt this bitch. You got D four. No, oh, thank you. I forgot. <laughs> That's all clerics do is you just say you've got D four. You've got D4. yeah. You got D four. You got this many points of healing now, and you've got a D four. <laughs> uh, twenty two to hit. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I need to roll a d8 to see what kind of damage it does. I love this spell. Oh, I love, yeah, I love Chaos Bolt. It's so cool. It will be a cold damage, so it takes 2d8 cold damage. Then does it have, like, any kind of, like, uh... Well, you know what? Let's see what it gets first. What did you get first? It got the 16. got... Oh, 2d8? You rolled max? Yeah! Yeah, I did! <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I am good at this game, not always. Go ahead and describe what that looks like when you kill that one. So, the chaos comes from the hand halfway through, it goes into an ice, and it stabs it in the heart. Gets it right in the heart, and Gets it... it right in the heart. It kind of locks up for a moment, this whole like kind of armor carapace locking in place, and it just falls over to the side, and it's still sitting there like a big husk of uh, the uh, alien of Men in Black 1, the great play yeah, that... The roach! The, the giant roach! Does it look like again, Adam? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what does this uh, enemy look like again? Uh, it looks like kind of like the alien from Men in Black One, the the big mm. famous play that everybody knows right, about. Yeah, yeah. From, uh, from the bar just here, for William, Dustin's William uh, <laughs> recollection. Uh, actually, next up, Dustin, you are next. We kind of skipped you so that Rin <laughs> went first. There's only one left now. Okay. I am going to do. No shoot. Do you know what it looks like, Dustin? No, I do not. You want to tell me? Yeah, it looks like the big roach <laughs> thing from Men in Black 1, the big famous play that everybody knows about. How far away is this thing? Uh, 15 feet. 
Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna run up to it. Hey, roll a perception check real quick. Wait, I wonder if um is this adding my plus two to this? I don't know. What am I rolling for? Perception check real quick. This is like a free thing. Freebie. Do the thing. Perception. Twenty. Nice. Uh, you can see that um, this thing in smack dab in the chest of it, it's got one of those yellow crystals embedded in it. And with a twenty, you actually see that the two dead ones next nearby also have a couple crystals that, that are embedded into the body of them. But this one has just one, and it's like right in the chest. I wonder, like, kind of like try and grab it or try to like attack it. You can try to grab if you um, want. It would be an athletics. I think an, I think an athletics would make most like sense to like pull it out of it. it. Is it like, like deep in it? It looks it, like it's like the it size like of like a um, like half the size of like a. Baseball bat? I'm trying to think of like a thing other than saying half the size of a baseball bat. It's like a foot long, I guess you could say. Uh, <laughs> you can and, use a measurement. So yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's like a foot long and maybe like um, diameter of like, I don't know, like a two by four or like like this. <laughs> and this is like sticking from it. You, so you can like grab it and try to pull on it, but it would be like an athletics check to try to get it out. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. I'm just gonna, I'll attack this guy. Um, just find a sword. D4. Plus a D4. You get to add a D4 to it. Plus D4. Was that that 16? No. I didn't recognize. Hang on. Oh, you know what? Hang on. That's a nine, but Hang plus on. a D four and plus your <laughs> modifier. Four on, the, four on that. Thirteen and then plus your modifier, like to attack. To uh, attack is plus seven to attack. Oh dang! So that is a thirteen, a, a dirty twenty. Uh, go ahead and roll damage that does hit. Or did that thing, please? Nine damage. Nine damage. Um. Uh, you. Describe like how you're attacking. It's still alive, so you you did not kill it yet. Um, I'm probably like attacking its feet. How tall is this thing? <laughs> it is pretty tall. It's like eight feet, nine feet tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm just slashed at his knee. I was not out of character, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, you like slash at his leg and like open a big uh, gash in its leg, and some of that like green ooze is pouring out of it now. Um, next up is going to be Morion. Uh, Morion is going to grab the crystal that he picked up earlier and cast Detect Thoughts on it. Okay, let's do this. Um, oh, no. Oh, man. You cast and Detect Thoughts on it. First, for a moment, you get a little bit of feedback. Kind of like if you call like a, a cell phone or a, like an iPad, iPad like call, and you, this, they're too close, and you get that feedback noise, um, and kind of like turning a little bit away from it, and like shielding it, you start to get these um, orders that are just like these like dissonant whispers of like, kill them, they're intruders, stab them, get them. And it seems like it, the the thoughts are not coming from the Onkeg. It seems like you're kind of like intercepting the thoughts to the Onkeg's um, chest crystal. And um, detect thoughts. So we're we're gonna go a little bit like off the books of what exactly detect thoughts does, but. Um, It boils down to you picking up these orders to kill you for five, counting um, 
uh, Jake from State Farm. And then, not only that, you get a sense that, like, these... You can kind of even uh, get a direction a little bit of, like, kind of, like, tuning or, like, uh, triangulation on, like, where these, like, orders are coming from. And it seems like there is some mass down uh, deeper below, like, where, like, that uh, meteor, like, cut into the tunnels, like, towards that direction is where these orders are seemingly like coming to this crystal you're holding and presumably all of the crystals that are in all of the beast. Gotcha. Um, I would like to then reach in my pack and put it back and then pull out a, uh, a thing of rope and then use my movement to hop over next to the ant keg. Okay. And that's, all, that's right. all I can do this round. All right. Next, you're up. Uh, so it's going to go Nyx, on kegs, and then Jake from State Farm. <laughs> um, so this, one, this one's been damaged already, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one's actually looking again. It's actually looking pretty weak, especially after Norbit like cut that big gash in its leg. Um, <laughs> but that yeah. does remind me, Sash, did, do you guys have over in the <laughs> over where you live the uh, same commercial to Jake from State Farm <laughs> commercial or not? I have no idea what you're talking about, guys. No. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Um, the only the only farm I can think of is um, Old McDonald's Farm and Pepperidge Farm. State Farm is an insurance company, and there's a commercial where this dude I'm going is to like send sounding... it to him. Don't worry. No, no, no. Yes. I'm gonna do a really good yes. job of describing no, no, it real quick. No, no, no. Sash needs You're to be in on the it. joke. No, he needs I'm... to be in on the joke. <laughs> Whatever, he'll watch it and understand better here in the minute. No, I, you wait until I nail this commercial uh, so picture, it's yeah. it's a dude it's a dude talking on a phone at night in the middle of the night it's like dark in his house uh seems very sleazy he's like oh i would like that oh yeah that sounds good and then his <laughs> wife comes down and she's like hey who the hell are you talking to she doesn't use those <laughs> words because you can't curse in commercials she says hey who are you talking to and he says uh jake from state farm she says jake from state farm okay let me see and she takes the phone she's like who am i talking to and he's like uh, Jake. this is Jake from State Farm. She says, yeah, okay, what are you Jake wearing? from State Farm, what are you wearing? He says, uh, uh khakis. <laughs> and just shows up, he's just wearing like, khakis and a red shirt. And it's like so all okay. about like, uh, State Farm being able to like be there day or night. Um, it's a lot funny if you would watch it. I think Dragbait was right and you should you have had, to. You had to be there. You had to be there. You gotta be there. But, um, mm. Jake from uh, State Farm is like a big thing over here the- now. The better version of that commercial <laughs> though still is there. when the code heads do it. What was that, Dragon Man? I'm sorry, I was laughing too hard at your fucking character voice. Uh, the better version of that is when the cone heads do it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that yeah, is yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. Jake from State Farm. Yeah. Sorry, Sash. Sorry to derail your turn. I just wanted to make uh, sure that you were in on the Jake from State Farm joke. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, said too well. You definitely painted that picture in my head, TM. Very well done. Um, to, all, to all the dead, another like deathly kind of gong of the bell. Um, so a wisdom save on a 15. Okay. Well, you know these things aren't very. Uh, wise? They're wisdomy. not the wise? They're not wisdomy. Bro, of uh, 14, I believe. Let me make sure I got Fail. that. It failed. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, eight points of damage. Whoa! What was that again? That Whoa! No. Eight. Told the dead. Uh, okay. Told well, you can describe. Dead. Did you? Didn't you get a kill the la- it, last time? Also, told the dead. Yeah, I've got um, deathly bell. Yeah. Well, you did again. This bell is pretty fucking deadly. So again, again, the kind of ringing in its head, or yeah, the ringing in its like skull would just kind of like makes the head just go. Yeah, and it it's like for a moment before it dies and before its head like implodes it, it was, was looking around like really um kind of like scatterbrain just real quick uh l- looking left to right and then its head just implodes and it drops to the ground and uh norbit you're like right up on them and you can see that this yeah they all have these crystals embedded in them i was just about to cast my my final form spell and kill them all. Uh, maybe next time, right? <laughs> That's, uh, I don't think we... so, Drake from State Farm. 
Moiran um, opens his mouth. His power level's over 9,000! <laughs> <laughs> as he yells, as Morion yells in Goku voice. <laughs> <laughs> That is uh, that is Vegeta. That I is Vegeta. I, I know. I know. I know. Dang it! Oh, fail. Shit. Just checking. It's, uh, it's a disadvantage from you, from Johnny, probably. When he hears you, <laughs> yeah. some anime. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, can I request a break? So yes, I, can get I was going water. to do a break right now before we okay, go no. to the okay. next. Okay. So, uh, everybody, we will be back in like five minutes or so uh we will see it should be pretty quick um be right back
Hello, everybody. Johnny, Dragon Bait did not miss a beat. She was in character voice that entire all the time. Yeah, all break. The time. It's true. <laughs> Dustin was not. Dustin is eating a taco, and I don't think tacos are in favor yet. No, he's, he's actually eating some of the carapace of the, <laughs> the bugs. He's eating the flesh of uh, the <laughs> big bugs from Men in Black 1, the cockroach, the famous play. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the famous bard William Smith. <laughs> God damn it! What was this guy's voice? Um, it was yeah, annoying. Yeah. It was very <laughs> annoying, and it was very annoying to do too. I heard it's um, yeah, here it is. Yeah, I think I got it. Um, should we go like down into the tunnels, or should we like follow the comet, you guys? I think we should follow the comet, but I think our bird friend has. Something to tell us. I'm yeah. going to take the rope and put it in the mouth of the Ankeg, and then I'm going to climb up on the back of the uh, Ankeg, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on the Ankeg. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to wrangle it so that I can ride it. Okay. Let's do... <laughs> oh, shit. We may be fighting the Sodclave again. Are we keeping... Is this one of the ones that still has a yellow crystal sticking out of it? No. This is the one that he had taken the crystal out of. Okay, then. That's the one I was standing next to, right? Yeah. I may so, not have specified which one. I don't I don't remember. Either way, we can find one that does not have a crystal in it. We can cure wounds sons. it. Go ahead and roll it. See how much health this thing has then. All right. Cure wounds. Oh, that's the equipment. I need my spells. There we go. Cure wounds cast. 1d8 plus 3. 10. 10 HP. The thing uh, starts to stand back up. And let's go ahead and roll an animal handling check. I think it would be the best. Uh... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast guidance on you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to need it. Uh, okay. Animal handling. Oh, and I also have advantage on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be great. So, animal handling. First roll is a 23. A nat 20. Whoa. Plus 3. Good job, Joe. Plus a d4. Plus a d4. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you can roll it. Let's see what it gets to. <laughs> I want to see a. I want to see a him like a raven riding on the cockroach from the the film. <laughs> Men in Black One, the famous <laughs> play, play in Faerun. That's a plus three from my D four. Okay, so cool. 26. So yeah, twenty six. Awesome, fantastic. Um, yeah, this thing as soon as it, like stands back up and you uh, place your hands on it, revive it, uh, stands up. You've got this rope tied like right in its maw. Uh, kind of like going between its uh, like big pincher, so it can't really like chomp down on it because it's really pinch. only yeah, it's really only got like four pinch pinch uh, pin, pinch. Uh, like pincers, and you've got it like right in the middle of that, so it can't like chomp that rope down. And um, for just a moment, it starts to resist, but then you don't know if like maybe it like knows that you're the one that brought it back to life, or just like the way that you're handling the reins, it starts to kind of. Die down pretty quick. Also, it not having this crystal in it, it seems to um, uh, be a little bit more subdued now. And uh, so with a 26, we'll say that you've now got this on cake mount. I'm going to turn around and start patting it on the back, like motioning for them to join me. Probably shouldn't be too hard. No, they could fit on it, yeah, because everyone's pretty small. Um and even with like Rin, uh, which is like a medium sized uh, person, uh, this thing is large. It could it could house you all. Um, are you telling me that I am bigger than the human? Are you? I don't know. I keep picturing I him a bird because he's got a freaking plague doctor mask on, and all like I don't he's know what. Hey, not I don't know what Nyx looks like because Nyx has a plague doctor mask on. Be the book, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> like doctors are humans. Yeah, he's maybe like six foot. 
It's five foot ten, six foot, so average. Yes. Yeah, even so, I think the four of you guys could ride on one of these big bad boys. Cool. The uh, the Does... the bug from Minute but, Black One. But Jake from State Farm cannot. He has to walk. I'm I'll, I'll, I'll just like follow you guys. That's okay. I yeah. set this book on fire. No, please, please don't do that. I uh, boop him on the nose again and cast light. <laughs> he pulls out his book <laughs> to start to write down some uh, journal entries and then just can't see anything. It's like, okay, never, never mind. Closes his book up. Um, following down so the <laughs> comet. <laughs> following down the path of this comet uh, that seemed to have left, um, it opens up into what looks like um, like a like a sub cavern this doesn't look like an area that was here originally like the the other like dugout uh tunnels this one looks a lot more natural um you see coming down this tunnel uh and like this path this comet took you see uh at the very end in the center of this like large cavern it's like 80 feet um What's the word? Uh, not diameter, because it's bigger than that. We'll say, like, the ceilings are, like, 50 feet tall, and we'll say that in a s- circle, it's, like, 300 feet. And we'll just say... Circumference. Yeah, circum- 300 foot circumference, yes. Um, in the smack dab center, like, from down the path that you guys were all following, you see this large, uh, like, meteor of this... Uh, it looks like a solid block of like iron star metal um just like almost touching it right to the side of it you see this 10 foot tall block of this amber colored crystal um it looks much like the crystals that you've seen like impaled in creatures uh throughout this entire night but this is like a solid chunk of it um Around it, you see that uh, to the north and a little bit to the south of that crystal, you see these big pools of this like bubbling acid. Uh, and then you also see uh, surrounding that big crystal, you see three of these like smaller looking onkegs. Uh, they they're like half the size of the three that you fought before, and then. Uh, along the walls that are like tunneling out they're like currently like working on the walls you see two of those like full size on cakes um so the short version of it is big crystal three little on cakes acid pools two big on cakes um Um, while we were while we were riding this uh this giant roach i went ahead any some of my sorcerer points to get some back some spell slots. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing, Dustin? <laughs> I love your voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's. How about how about this? How about we go ahead and um, like I said, there's five of them total in here, and you guys are like riding along the back of a big on keg. Uh, instead of having anybody have any kind of surprise round, how about we go ahead and just roll initiative, and you we'll said, uh, we'll just jump right into this. Okie dokie. You said two big, three okay, little. Okie dokie. Two big, three little, plus big crystal, <laughs> and acid pools. If anybody wants to use like acid yeah, yeah, pools yeah. or anything. Do we still have the bliss? Uh, probably not. How <laughs> <laughs> is that? Ten minutes or one minute? One minute. Oh, one minute. No. I was gonna say, it's, been a, it's been within like the 10 minute range it's fine I, I rolled an 18 so I'm just going to cast Bless again on everybody <laughs> okay. uh, big on cakes got a 14 little on cakes got an 8 um, crystal got the natural 20 no uh, yeah, I got a nat 22 Jake, but Jake, plus 5 Jake from State Farm got a 1 <laughs> crystal got a 4 Worst. The worst wizard I have ever met, Jake from you State just wait. Farm. You just wait. Spell slots. You know what? <laughs> J- I get my my uh, spell slots back with the sorcerer points. So 
Anyway, I got the 15. 15? What did you get in orbit? Yes. 25. 25? Uh, yeah, yeah, Matt 20, then plus 5. Okay. Because he is a fighter. What did Nyx get? 18. Uh, what did Morion get? get? Morion? 17. Out of you guys, you are very high in the numbers now. <laughs> many, many numbers. <laughs> many uh, numbers. <laughs> many numbers. Rin, what was yours one more time? Oh, yeah. Mine was a 15. 15. Okay, so you you got you four get to go first, and then it's like uh, the massacre. You are going to murder them all. <laughs> um, everybody go ahead and real quick before we even get started. Everybody go ahead and roll me a perception check real quick, too. The perception. No perception. <laughs> I got a two plus four for a six. It's not very good, Joe. No, not at all. I got... I got the not a ten. <laughs> Nick's got a twenty-six. Yeah, twenty-seven. Natural twenty. Twenty-seven. What did Norby get? Twelve on that. Uh, Nick's, you can see on the uh, easternmost wall, completely opposite from you all, you see this yellow webbing uh, with a tiefling male. Well, you got a twenty-seven. You can see everything. You can see that it is a tiefling male. Uh, webbed up against this wall. If that is Larry, uh, uh, Jake from State Farm does not deserve the tiefling. <laughs> and uh, we will go ahead and get... Norbit, you are first. Norbit, there is the, quite a lot of shit going on in here. Yeah. <clears throat> They're everything. Who <laughs> does the uh, Ankeek move on? Is that Morian's? Yeah, we'll have that like part of Morian's thing. So, how close are these guys? Because I got some stuff I can maybe use. Um, they're like a hundred feet away. It's actually a pretty big cavern. Oh, oh, hundred feet from me? Yeah, I know you got the little legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, how close are they together, though? Um, together, the three smaller ones are surrounding the crystal. And so it's like crystal in the center, and then the three smaller ones are all like um, ten feet away from it, or actually five feet away from it, uh, kind of like surrounding it. Uh, and the two big onkegs are actually like they're they're just not near anything. They're like twenty feet away from everybody each. You spread said out. hundred feet. Yeah. So like, if you want to do like any mm -hmm. AOE, AOE thing, you would want to do it on the like crystal with the smaller ones, but. Um, even that is about a hundred feet away from you. So, well, I don't have any range AOEs, but the only thing I can get them with is my range uh, chromatic orb. Everything else is close. It looks like you said a hundred feet. Yeah. So this is a ninety foot spell. So I could walk up. I'm gonna walk up as far as I can. So I'll go twenty five feet. Okay. And then hit them with a chromatic orb on just a... Uh, I'll just do one of the small ones, I think. Okay. You roll for that, right? I think so. Yeah, you roll for yeah, that. Range yeah, range spell attack. Yep. Ooh, I'm excited. It's going to be a fun a fight, you guys. Dirty 20. <clears throat> dirty 20 is going to hit. And then that does. 3d8. What do these guys look like again? Are you kidding or are you joking? Or are you <laughs> uh, kidding or joking or synonyms? So. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of like... Um... Dustin, wait a second. They wait a second. look wait, like the bug wait. from Men in Black One, the famous play <laughs> listen, that everybody has seen. Listen, wait. I rolled a three d eight, and I got a three. That sucks. You rolled three ones. Wait, is that right? No, you must. You must. You put a space in between it. Yeah, you. Yeah, you just put roll three. <laughs> Slash roll space. Three dot. Yeah, uh, three d eight. Three d eight. No space between three, three d or eight. 
D. <laughs> there you go. That's much better. That's better. And what kind of damage is that? I think I'll pick. Um, let's do cold damage. Okay. Yeah, you hurl this bright blue uh, orb right at one of these smaller onkegs um, surrounding the crystal. Slams into it. Uh, the ice like shatters and uh, dissipates, and then uh, still looks pretty good. Uh, still is fine. Um, if you don't have anything else, we will go to Morion's turn. Um, I don't think I have any bonus actions. Me. That's, yeah. That's all you. <clears throat> okay. Morion is going to ride the onkeg yeah, up to the crystal. Like about an 18. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I was on deck. Wait, what did Morion get? I thought Morion got... 17. 17. Oh, I got it in the wrong order. Sorry, Joe. Oh, you're fine. Okay, Nick. God damn, is always messing things I'm up. I'm always on oh, yeah. <laughs> God dang it. Um, Nick, yeah. you and then Morion. Last another three. Again. All right, who are you, bl are you blessing those three? The other three yeah. companions. Um, fuck it, let's, let's do a spiritual weapon next to... Actually, it's a range of 60 feet, never mind. I'll, I'll hold off on that. Okay. Are you going to bless and then, like, scooch up? And I'm just going to stay on the the cockroach from the... the okay. Thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot you guys are all riding this cockroach still. Um, all right, so everybody is blessed. Now, Morion, it's your turn. Uh, Morion is going to ride the uh, onkeg up to the crystal and cause or uh, cast Earth Tremor on it. <laughs> so... These on cakes can actually uh, burrow a little bit in like into the ground and like move very quickly like through stone and earth and dirt. Uh, so you can like control it, burrow down, uh, shoot up towards that crystal, um, get within five feet of it, and then what are you or how how close do you want to get to it? How close do you need to get to About it? About 10 feet from it. Okay. And then what are you casting? Earth Tremor. You cause a tremor in the ground within range. Each creature other than you in that area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. If the ground in that area is loose earth or stone, it becomes difficult terrain until cleared, with each 5-foot diameter portion requiring at least 1 minute to clear by hand. All right. You should know what this does because you've casted it three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and you roll that. And then this thing's going to have a legendary action finally. Right. My D6 is a five. Wait, wait, what? Five D6 and you only rolled a five? No, my one D6 is a five. Okay, okay. I thought you said 5d6, <laughs> a 5. And I was like, whoa, he rolled 5 once? All right. Um, yeah, you see a, a small chunk of that yellow amber of that stone uh, come off the top of it. And then it's going to do a legendary, like a lair action, legendary action. What do you want to call it? Um, it's actually going to call cast... Um, little thing called reverse gravity. Just... Do you guys make a save? Let me see. That is up to you, DM. <laughs> Spell reverses gravity in a 50-foot radius. Um, all like creatures and spells. objects that aren't anchored <laughs> to the ground fall upward. A creature can make a deck save to grab onto a fixed object. I would Everybody like make a deck this. save yeah. as all of a sudden you guys are all starting to fly up towards Can this. I not make that deck save? Because at this point, uh, I would be extremely thrilled as a Kenku to start flying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you want, you can fail it on purpose. Yes. Okay. You got a D4 to that save. Flapping my wings. 23. 17. Nineteen. 
I don't have to talk like this anymore. Johnny is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, guys. Um... <laughs> I mean, Morion and, and and the uh, Ankeg both fly up towards the ceiling. But I mean, Nyx, Rin, and Norbit, um, there are two nearby really big stalagmites on the ground that you guys can, like, grab like, real quick. As soon as you start flying up, uh, you grab hold onto these two different stalagmites that are nearby this crystal. <sighs> That's so they're pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, fine. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I feel too bad, Adam. I, I failed it. I, yeah, Morion, but you want like you're having fun up there, though. <laughs> you're having fun up there. Just flying um, around. Uh, Mor did you did you do a did you do your turn, Morion? Yeah, that was just oh, my turn. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ren, it's your turn, Ren. Oh, Kitty, I'm going to cast. Chaos Bolt at level two, and I did <laughs> this wrong last time. <laughs> oh, God. What is the accent in anyway? the No, I, don't I think know. it's made up bullshit. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> 23 to hit. Drag Mate, can we make an NPC and roll for weird that is like strictly this uh accent and it's like a very I, heavily focused <laughs> NPC. I don't know if I would be able to keep it up. Last time I, I played with do her doing the... this, I was dying the entire time. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, dokie, I got to roll to figure out what the bad stuff is. Oh man. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Uh, then let's do D6. Do D6. Whoa, what creature is this going for? Damage. This is going towards the... Which is the farthest away from me, and is it within 120 feet? So you were Actually, on the back of this Anke, right? And now you're like pretty close to them, but you're now gra you're actually like one arm is wrapped around a stalagmite on the ground. Because otherwise this entire area is um no gravity. So you're like holding on to the stalagmite as you're casting this spell. Yeah. Um you're close to three uh small onkegs. One Elk. big amber crystal, and then two big on cakes on the edge that are like looking at you all and about to close in whenever it gets to that, their turn. That is fine. I will shoot it at the crystal. Okay. Crystal does not have the highest AC, I don't think. Uh, that would be well. I rolled like a twenty something, so it would have. I would hope it would have hit. It, it would. It would like a twenty. It would have. It would have hit. Yes. Okay. So that is a 12, 14 points of damage to the crystal. What kind of damage is that? That was a d d d d lightning damage. Uh, another <laughs> massive chunk of the crystal uh, shatters off of it. Um, this actually, this crystal is now like down... Um, maybe like a third of its size at the moment from like the, these chunks of these spells that have been uh, knocking off of it. Um, well, shit, he used all of his legendary actions for the cool ass uh, reverse gravity spell that didn't really fucking do anything. It didn't Whatever. work for all of us. It didn't work for anybody except for the guy who wanted it to work for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, cool. <laughs> oh, shit, but now it is a little... It's the little dude's turn now. Oh, come no. Come at me, motherfucker. What was that? I said, come at me. Okay, cool. All right. Um, The three... Uh, one of the, Okay, okay. So it is uh, Nyx, Rin, and Norbit all on the uh, stalactites holding on to them. Uh, we're going to have one go up to each of you. I think that's only fair. And, that's uh, they, I guess. They are all going to try to bite at one of each of you. Um, so let me go ahead and roll. Mm. Is that really only a plus two? That doesn't sound um, right. That does not sound right. Adam, Adam, Adam. As a reaction, I use shield. If it hits me. 
Okay, 15, 18, 21. I'm going to go ahead and say Norbit, Rin, Nyx. I'm just going oh. going down the line of the stream. What so happened? Norbit, a 15, does that hit you? It does not. Well, that fucking... It, well, well, that I'm sucks. a fighter. I got 18. Uh, Rin, does an 18 hit you? It does not because I cast shield! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nyx, does a 21 <laughs> hit you at least? If you say no, Sash, I fucking quit. I'm going to just stop the stream there. No, 21 hits. Okay. <laughs> I need to bite somebody. Um, <laughs> nung, nung, nung. Fucking shield. God damn. God damn it. Shield yeah. is the best thing. Oh, oh, wait. You know what? It says here. It's so weird. It says uh, shield does not affect the spite for some reason. <laughs> Listen. Do not Best lie to me, is, Adam. <laughs> um, I I hold Filbert's hand, <laughs> Filbert's life in my hand. Oh, shit. Uh, sash. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Sash, that's going to be a 10 points of damage total. And then you actually <laughs> grappled up in its pincers. Oh, no. Oh, not, not the pincers. The pincers. <laughs> oh. That is, no, that, that's actually kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. It's that fine. is really bad. Big, big onks turn. Uh, the big onks are going to um, start to run up on you three, and uh, th they can't reach uh, Morion up flying in the ceiling with this big pet onk egg. Um, so instead, they are going to run up as close as they can. They can't. They they can get like thirty feet away from you all, and then they're going to hurl. Their uh, bile of acid sprays, uh, one going towards yes. Norbit and Rin, and one going to Nyx and the Ankeg holding Nyx. Um, so yes, it is friendly fire. Um, Nyx, you can roll a deck save with disadvantage since you're grappled up, and then Rin and Norbit, you guys can both roll uh, deck saves to try to dodge out of the way of this. But what is this exactly? This is an acid spray. But is if it, you dodge out of the way of it, you got, I mean, you would have to let go of that slagmite, That's I would think. That's not true. We could, we could go okay. around this you side. Can, yeah, don't, okay, okay. Don't Dex save. And you can, yeah, and you can try also, to, like, also, crab walk these, around it. Are these things not also affected by the anti-gravity? Why are they not floating into the fucking air? Because they're 30 air. feet away. They're not in the uh, sphere No, of what it about yet. the ones that tried to bite us? They have so, crystals okay. embedded in them, so they're controlled by the They're crystal. up on the Listen, ceiling, Dragon no. Bait. They're on the ceiling now. Cool. That's all I asked so for. So Nyx... Hey, but that means Nyx is also up on the ceiling. Oh, I just want shit. as many people I'm on the sorry. ceiling as I can get them. That's fine. You said and, deck save. Uh, 17 disadvantage. Actually, uh, Nyx, you actually don't even have to roll because... I don't think you could actually reach you. I think I said the ceiling okay. was higher than that, yeah, plus how far they are. So to your save. Yeah, so you're good. What did Rin and Norbit get? I got a 23, 16. but... 16! You said... No, D4. Disadvantage. I got disadvantage? Yeah. Why? Since you guys are having to hold on well, to uh, a thing, like trying to not fly up in the <laughs> air, so it's kind of hard to like motion around it. 18. Well, fuck you, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> that was also an 18. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's half. I think it's half. Let me see. You take half, so you take half of yeah, that's seven. Fine. Three, you take three. I actually take damage now? Yeah. You take three acid damage. <laughs> three acid damage. <gasps> crystal turn. Well, the crystal can Ooh. bite me. Well, the crystal gets a turn, Dragon Bane. Well, well let's crystal see what this crystal can do. Can't do much of the crystal. It needs to die in a hole. Okay, Crystal is going to cast. Is it gonna rain? What? Chase is down here looking for you. I think. Oh, okay. Crystal is going to cast Gust of Wind and try to knock Norbit and Rin into the acid pools to the side. What did we just float up because I used the other fucking spell? <laughs> uh, 
if you guys can roll, um, so you guys will be rolling strength saving throws, or That's be pushed fifteen feet away. And if you guys fail, you would be hitting the ceilings. You got D four. Damn it! Can I roll. <laughs> I have to make a strength saving throw. Which I have a negative two. Because <laughs> I am a sorcerer, but that is a 16, which would be a 15. And here's my D4, it's a 18. <laughs> you, you remind me of, uh, Gru, is it named Gru from uh, the yeah. Minions movie? Yeah, yeah. What is it, what's it called? Oh. Despicable Me. Despicable, Despicable Me. me. <laughs> and I, I think there is a Minions movie, movie also, too. That's such a weird, like, voice. Like, it sounds just like that. I've, so the I've saving throw is DC 14. I love it. Did you oh, save a 14, well, Rin? Yep. Yes, what I about you, did. Norbit? I rolled an 18. What, uh, what am I rolling? A uh, strength saving throw. Or be blasted. No, 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 no blasted. You're blasted <laughs> off of the stalagmite, and you fly up to the ceiling also. Of course. How many um, spells can the crystal have going? Hey, hey, <laughs> that was not a concentration. The concentration is the reverse gravity. That okay. was just like a regular okay. spell. Uh, but now it is Jake from State Farm's turn. But Jake from State Farm is going to, uh, he like looks around, sees Larry on the wall. Larry? Um, Larry. And starts to run around, like behind where the stone and everything is, and going towards Larry. He doesn't quite make it there, but he's dashing. Um, he's about thirty feet away from Larry now, uh, pretty close. Jake from State Farm is a piece of shit. And we are now back up to Norbit, who is on the ceiling. <laughs> Norbit, yeah, like you got some shit. Ceiling? You're on the ceiling now, just stuck up With there. With some of the other thingies. Can I like? Huh, let's see. Swim. <laughs> can, I, can I swim? Is everybody on there I'm except near... for Rin at the moment? Yeah. How many are left? <clears throat> All uh, of them. What are you talking about? We haven't in. killed a single thing yet. There's a <laughs> lot. Um, plus Crystal is still standing, plus, and then Jake from State Farm is going to try to get Larry. Are they Damn. all pretty close, and am they I are. close to them? Um, so you're about 50 feet up on the cavern ceiling now, stuck to the ceiling. Um, there are a few on kegs also up here stuck on the ceiling, but the two big ones are still on the ground by the crystal, like, kind of close to the crystal. I'm not close. And I'm then Rin's the down there just holding on to a stalagmite just for dear life. <clears throat> I'm going to attack the same one that I attacked before and do the same thing I think I did was a chromatic orb. 90 feet because that's like the only range thing I got. So one of the ones on the ceiling still? Yeah. And I'm going to try and do... Uh, I'm going to do lightning damage this time. I think I do a regular d20. 7 plus 7 is 14 hit. 14 is their armor class, so 14 does indeed hit, yes. And then it does. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Twenty damage. All right, go and describe what that looks like. Uh, as soon as that one, as soon as you, well, no, okay, yeah, you describe what it looks like real quick. Does that kill him? Yeah, it does kill it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I shoot some kind of orb. Lightning. Yeah, so this like a ball of lightning, I guess. Shoot a ball of lightning right at his face. And uh, as soon as it like hits it and like ca crackles along its body, it just uh, goes limp and is just now still stuck on the ceiling. It looks like the guy from uh, Home Alone when he gets electrocuted. Oh, I was—I yes. thought you were gonna—I thought you were gonna say it looks like the monster from uh, Men in Black One, the famous play that everybody knows about. I've never heard of that. No. 
<laughs> Next up is guys, it's so nice when you actually have the initiative order actually like written down somewhere and you don't have to guess who's next it's every amazing. time. Fucking next shocking. up is Nyx. Uh so it's got me in its mouth. It's pinch pinch. Um what they Oh yes, yes it is, yeah. And you guys are both stuck on the ceiling with you in its mouth. Cool. Uh, so what does what does that mean? Uh, disadvantage on. That would attacks? mean yeah. If you do any like kind of, um, if you have to make a roll for anything, you would be at disadvantage. Or you could use your action to try to break free. Sure, I will use my advantage I got from Johnny earlier then. To cancel it cast, out. Yeah, I'm going to cast and flick wounds. So I'm just going to like reach out, touch it. Right in its mouth. In fact, I'm just going to like reach down its throat and just touch it inside. That's not 20. Yeah. That misses. No, you got it. So that's 60, 10. 60, 10? Oh, damn. You're going to straight murder this one. <laughs> uh, 50. <laughs> what was that? 50. Necrotic. Fit like five zero, like as in like the like the number that's like uh between like forty and sixty, like smack dab in the middle of those two, Holy like fifty, shit. like the number that sounds yes, like fifty, he... but it's fifty. Like the fifty. Of, that is of, what he said. Um, fall damage I'm about to take. Apart from I've got reverse gravity, so I don't take any damage. But like 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 fifty though, like five zero. I that's just, a just, lot. That's a lot of. I just go like balls deep into it with my arm and just like inflict. Wounds. You grab, you grab its fucking heart and uh, grab onto and cast inflict wounds on straight onto its heart. Yeah, fifty damage is gonna kill this thing. What's it look okay. like when it does that? Um, it's not gonna react, but it's literally just gonna like stay there because of reverse gravity. So it's it's not. It still grappled me, but it's actually dead and it's just not moving. Yeah, it's just like stuck people, to the people, ceiling people still. People probably think it's not dead and I didn't do anything there, but it's literally my arm's like grappled inside his mouth and I've just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Morion, there is one more small one that is up on the ceiling with you all, uh, two big ones, and then the big crystal. And then your on cake, but your on cake is under your control, so you don't have to worry about fighting that one. Okay. I am not going to worry about fighting that one, um, and I am actually going to use uh, my turn to look at the crystal and wave my hands over my beak and then cast magic mouth on the crystal. Yeah. And a, uh, a magical <laughs> mouth yeah. shows up on the crystal. I'm vaguely everyone, familiar with it. Everyone will hear. Verily, I saith unto you, my companions, attacketh the crystal, and destroy this alien hive mind. I haveth a concert at nine. <laughs> so in nine minutes, we have to be done with this. Shit. What does that Joe do? Joe has been coming up with the, the like, smart-ass moves tonight um how about this how about you roll a <laughs> deception check um i think i like that i think a deception check would be cool okay plus four 16 plus four so a dirty 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit um thank you <laughs> you see <laughs> All of the remaining onk eggs that are uh, under the control of this crystal turn and start to face this crystal. Rin, you are up next. Okie dokie. I am going to cast the Witch Bolt at second level. <laughs> Okie dokie. I will <laughs> roll to attack it. And that is a 24. And that way we'll roll 2d12. <laughs> <It's> fucking voice. <laughs> this is too much. 
<laughs> that is a 17 points of damage. Uh, what kind of, what kind of damage is that? By the it way? is lightning damage. It is blue energy that comes <clears throat> from me and into the crystal. You hurl this uh, uh, massive lightning bolt straight at it, and uh, it hits like right at the core of this crystal, and uh, takes another big chunk of it. Now it's kind of like um, it's kind of a sad looking uh, chunk of crystal now left standing. But which bolt you actually like? It's like a damage over time, right? Like you do more damage later. Yes, I do. <laughs> Because I have it for a... It's concentration for a minute. Yes. So, like, yeah, whenever you want, you can just, like, do... Yeah. Not whenever, just on my turn. On your turn. Yeah, <laughs> not whenever you want. <laughs> um, the uh, little little Ankeg, there's only one left on the ceiling, correct? Yes. You guys mm -hmm. killed two of them. so. Um, one that's all, like, still sprawled out, stuck on the ceiling, is going to look down towards the crystal. Um, it is going to... Oh, shit. It doesn't have... This one actually doesn't have the, uh, acid stuff. Um, uh, it's gonna, like, just, like, claw at it feebishly, Phoebe like, kind of, like, <laughs> uh, like, just trying whatever it can to attack it. Um, uh, but it's all in vain. But then the two big Ankegs are going to flank this crystal and uh, they are going to yeah. surround this uh, crystal and start to just claw and ra like mangle it. Uh, they are the first. It's um, the first one goes up to it and starts to just like slice with his big talons at it, and like it's got it's trying to bite at it, it's trying to slice at it, uh, and it cuts down with one of its big taloned claws and cuts the entire crystal that it's already like pretty small in half, and the crystal just kind of slowly slithers down and falls to the ground um, with just like this little tiny pathetic looking shard left standing of the crystal. And as soon as it does, uh, why don't all three of you that are up in the air real quick, um, well, I guess I'll roll for it. Uh, you guys will all take... 10 points of damage as you guys all fall down to the ground as what? this uh, reverse gravity is turned mm -hmm. off and you hit the ground. Um, and at that point, um, uh, <laughs> Jake from State Farm has reached Larry now. And he's got these... Um, he's not like casting fire bolt, but he's got this like fire fingers that are working on these yellow webs and taking down Larry... And uh, guy he say, should be helping us. Yeah, instead of helping you guys, he was yeah, more focused on Larry. Uh, but now he has saved Larry, gotten him down from this webbing. Uh, you guys hit the ground, and uh, there's a couple more onkegs that also hit the ground, and the big onkegs. Um, and you see them just kind of look around as soon as that crystal shattered. Uh, they still have a couple crystal shards like stuck in them. But with the large, uh, like, shard mind shattered, they just turn, and uh, you see them dive into the earth and start to burrow down deeper and just flee the scene. Hey, hey guys, I found Larry, but he looks like he's in a pretty rough shape. Uh, he's unconscious at the moment. We all look like we're in a lot of pain, you asshole. <laughs> Uh, we'd say, we'd say you could have helped us. You could have hey, helped us. Hey. This is love of my life we're talking about. I don't so, care. I throw a fire bolt at him. No, please don't. Please really don't. <laughs> so the Grave Cleric domain's got maximum hit points um, when they're at zero HP. So if he's at zero HP, I can give him like the full maximum of... Uh, let's do a cure wounds. So okay, a one d eight plus uh, what is it? Fuck. Yeah, plus my wisdom. So one d eight plus five. So thirteen. 
I was really hoping damage. I didn't have to do a voice for this guy. That's why I was making him in one conscience, but whatever. <laughs> um, That's what you get, that damn. <laughs> That's what you get. Yep. Oh, hey, thanks for saving oh, me. God. Thanks for saving me, Jake, from Steak Farm. <laughs> no, Larry, go back to sleep, please. <laughs> sleep Who's Larry? Larry? My name's Larry. Listen, I have an accent. You do not make fun of me. Your name is Larry in my home language. So Larry is a blue tiefling. Um... You said he was red. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I really? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know say, why yeah. I said that. He's a He's blue color tiefling. Changing I don't... And it's fine. He's color changing, and it's fine. Maybe he's like a <laughs> chameleon. I don't know. I don't know why I said red. He is supposed to be a blue tiefling uh, for sure based on the module that we were playing. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks, guys, for saving me. <laughs> it's two minutes to our cutoff time for Joe, so uh, <laughs> see you guys later. We're just like going to leave real quick. And uh, him and uh, Jake from State Farm just yeah. bail on you all Sorry. real quick. You could have helped us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your voice echoes through the cavern as uh, they bail on you all and leave you standing in the... Um, the cave, uh, but you guys know that when you guys go back to Benny at the Adventurers Guild, you guys will definitely be able to give a very thorough report on what exactly happened, why uh, people were going missing and creatures were acting strange uh, after this comment strike. Uh, before we lose Joe, I do want to have everybody real quick... Uh, where can people find you at, Joe, uh, when you're not streaming with us? <laughs> um, you can find me at thenerdasylum.com. That's uh, that's where all our stuff is at. We've got podcasts, shows, a convention, all kinds of cool projects. Uh, Curse of Strahd on Thursdays, Bar Barovia Beckons, and then uh, Heroes of Hills Far on Sunday. So um, both of those streams are charity streams. They're constant streams, but they're also charity streams. And you can summon Strahd for a hundred dollars. No, 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 no! Oh. Don't do that. I didn't know yeah. that. Yep, you yeah. can summon nice. Strahd. What if he wipes the characters? What happens then? Do they have to? <laughs> we don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, don't yes. do it. Like donate for charity, <laughs> but don't donate that. You know, jo Johnny will scrounge up a hundred dollars to fucking kill Dragon <laughs> Bay. Johnny is not here. He does if not If he watches know. this is back so on the video on demand, though, he will find out and he will kill you, Dragon Bay. <laughs> Sash, where can people find you sure. at? Uh, so just before we do that, uh, so back at the back of the, um, the guild hall, uh, next thing that turns into the party, it's like, oh, good job, guys. That was a really good fight. <laughs> It's okay. We finally hear what Nick sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and it rivals Jake from State Farm and Larry's voices. Uh, yes, yeah, oh, so that's the first time anyone's ever heard him speak. Um, yeah, so pretty much anywhere. All the socials, uh, Dragon Arcus. Um Yeah, pretty much up. Follow me for Twitch, media social media, everything. All the Twitch, things. Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, wherever, yeah. Dragon Bait, where can people find you at? People can find me at 20 Sided Adventures. They can you know, see you me know on Johnny Barovia can't give you disadvantage Beckins. anymore, right? You'll never know. Um, you can find me on Barovia Beckins on Thursday with Joe. Um, we have a new show coming out called Roll for Weird. That is all the time we have, so I will stop. <laughs> and Dustin, I mean, uh, yeah, where can people find you at, Dustin? You make wood uh, stuff. I'm always on one shot on slot and halfway to heroes, but. I got a shop, uh, Iron Claw Relics. I'm on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, haven't posted anything in about a month, but I just posted something today. <laughs> and I'm, I'm wanting to open my shop up within a month, maybe. And I got like all kinds of exotic woods, all kinds of stuff planned. Hopefully it goes smooth, but we'll see. <laughs> Yes, thank you guys all so much. It was so much fun tonight. I uh, had a blast. I hope you all watching also had fun. And uh, we will talk to you all later. Bye, everybody. I'm going to stop the stream, hopefully. Bye-bye.